I was thinking, man, <clears throat> man, woman, I don't like that saying, I do, I use man, like, come on, man, especially since Joe been using it, kind of ruined it for me, just like how Seth Rogen ruined Donkey Kong for me, I just don't want to be associated with the word, with the characters, with the, know, whatever they touch becomes tainted in my eyes. And look at it. I mean, am I wrong? Really? Hey, speaking about present, look, some junior mitts. Junior mitts. Uh-oh, gotta hide them. I might be watching. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Don't worry. Politics, bad actors that are douches, they have nothing to do with this video. They really don't. But, it makes me think and wonder. See, I just got, I, I'm watching the, the new Roseanne show. The Connors. I had no idea they kill off Roseanne. Even when she wasn't dead. That's wild. That is wild. Of course they, they had to do it because she got cancelled. And you know they didn't wanna <clears throat> they didn't want her working on the show. But still, that's wild to take the main character and just write them off like that. And what's wild to me, what bothers me I think, is the fact like they actually had a person that died while working on that show, like the father, and they, of course, they at first they didn't want to replace him, and then after a while they eventually replaced him with uh, John Goodman, who was a good replacement for him. I think I, it reminds me just as him, the last guy that played the father in that show. But um, but yeah, the thing is, it's like. They treated it so real. Like, I remember it. It's like, they they made this whole episode when he passed where it's like, it's talking about the good times of the show he had. And then they shared stories about it, real life on the show. They were breaking the fourth wall for him, right? And now we got, well, they're written off Roseanne as a pill popper that died from pill pop. That's messed up. It's true what they say in the show, yeah, pill popping, that's a big epidemic here in America and has been for a long time. And the fact they use it for a form of entertainment feels a little bit sickening. I'm watching it and I'm like thinking, dang. Like, I wonder if this is how I would feel when if someone close to me passed with pills. Of course that already happened. Like I said, the pill epidemic, that, like, you probably know, don't you know anyone watching? Do you know three or four people that are taking pills currently? And you think they've been taking pills a little bit too long? Yeah. That's America for you. And heck, it was getting worse too. I'm glad, I'm glad us people that were standing up for the kids' innocence did what we did because... They were going to put all those kids on pills. What do you think that would lead to? That would just lead them to pill addiction a lot sooner. If, if the old people can't cut the pills, what makes you think the young people will be able to, you know? <sighs> but yeah, it's like... It sucks. It really does suck. And you know what bothers me the most? Is the fact that... Um, if AGP was here still with us, he wouldn't stand for this. He would not stand for that. If he figured out that they kicked off Roseanne just because she got canceled in the way that they kicked her off too, because he knows, he knows how bad pill problems were. In case you don't know, AGP, his angry grandpa, RIP, a very awesome YouTuber, one of the best legends out there for YouTube. And Roseanne was his favorite, Roseanne was his favorite TV show because he loved Roseanne. Not in a sexual way, <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry Roseanne. <laughs> but he loved it because of, you know, the way they acted. They were not, they were rude to each other, but they did it with love. Just like how he was with his family, you know. The lights on. Lights on, no one's home. <laughs> this is a snack shack. They left those lights on so many times, I swear. 
And it, and it always confuses me too. I'm like, why would they leave the lights on? Oh yeah, Bensonville, my town. That ain't no good. They don't even know how to like, they want to waste money is probably what it is. They're probably sitting there wasting money with electric city. They'll find somewhere to scam you all. And they will do it. They have been doing it. Just like our pill problem we have in America. There ain't no different with the scammers here. It's a big problem too. Anyways, let me get to what I was gonna talk about for this video. What I was gonna talk about is this. I think, when I think about it, there's only one horror movie character that can actually, I'd probably have troubles with. And that horror movie character is Christine. If you don't know who Christine is, Christine is a, I don't know if it can talk, but it could for sure drive and rebuild itself. It's a car that came to life. And this car basically takes out anyone in its path. Uh, I think at a certain time, I think like when no one's driving it, it tries to be sneaky like that. But I was thinking about it and I was thinking, Dang, you know, with Chucky, I'd kick Chucky. He's just a dog. With uh, Jason Voorhees, I'd push him in the pool. He hates water. Jason For uh, I say again. Freddy Cougar, set him on fire with a Molotov. You see, most of, these pe most of the horror movie people, they have a weakness. But that Christine car, like that'd be my biggest, my biggest battle right there if I ever have a living car. Because the reason being is because I don't know cars that well. Like all I know about cars is this. If they don't got a spark plug, they ain't gonna move. <laughs> I know that because in the horror movies they're like, oh, someone cut the spark plugs. I don't know what the spark plugs look like and I don't know where they're located other than in the hood of most cars, I think, old cars. So with that in mind, if I, had, if I ever had to battle a living car, I'd pretty much be screwed. Unless if somehow I could trick it to go to the chop shop. <laughs> uh, six nine nine for the six leap but for the six case, right? Five dollars for two. Six nine nine for six. Five dollars for two. And on top of that, fifty percent off on the second one you buy. Dang. Then again I gotta carry the stuff back. Don't want it to be too heavy. Man, this is the most haul I ever did. It's honestly, I made it halfway and then it started kicking in. It's like there's a lot to carry, a lot to walk with it. So we're halfway there. Good stuff. The person stopped and said, you know, it'd be helpful if, because I guess they saw me changing the bag. I got a bunch of spray, two liters, two, two liters of spray, and then They said it'd probably make your walk a lot easier, right? I said, you know, it'd make my walk a lot easier if I didn't get interrupted. <laughs> That's God honest truth. <laughs> yeah, my walk could be a lot easier in many ways. I told him, let, 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 how about you work on your idea? And I'll work on my idea. Meaning, don't interrupt me. Jeez. These people, I don't like them around here. They act like they know everything. It's like, if you know everything so much, why is your town suck so much, you know? Why is your town deteriorating in the modern world if you know everything so much, you know? I would expect people that know everything not have a town like this or people in it like this. But hey, because you know what I figured out in my life? People that actually are smart, they don't go around acting like these people, man. They don't like try to change your life because they know what they think they know what's better, even though they know they don't they they don't know nothing at all when it come down to it. That's why they get poor health and poor money situations, you know. 
It makes me wonder, man, I should have took that job with Hollywood. I could have been out of here in Hollywood, honestly, working with uh, the great Jack Nicholson. But, I turn it down. Because the, the plan, the deal was, it was basically if I make TikTok as popular as I was making YouTube, then they'd let me in, you know? But I saw how much TikTok damage, like how much damage TikTok was actually doing, mostly against the innocents, the young innocent. And so, I didn't want to have no part of that anymore. I just walked from it. I walked from that. I really did. And I never went back since. Because they were, it's like Facebook, you know? Facebook, they'll let little admirers, like people like this in this town that try to stop and, you know, ruin your day because they want to think, oh, I did something good. I gave my, good, my smart advice that no one wanted to someone, you know? It's just like Facebook. They got this smart aleck advice that's not even true most of the time. Heck, it's not even true all the time when it comes down. It's never true, is what I'm trying to say. And then, and then they expect that to help the world. You can't lie to the world and expect it to, like, to gain from that. That's the truth. The God on it. Anyway, let's get back to what we were talking about. Annabelle, the doll. I'd kick her into oblivion like I would with Chucky. It'd be like Super Smash Bros. Yeah, that's why I was using them killer dolls. I just kick them straight up in the orbit. I'm glad they don't make any more Dennis movies. Those movies freaked me out, man. That movie was horrible, the Dennis. I mean, it was good. It was a good scary movie, but it was like hard to watch because it was so gruesome. It was weird. It was like I could watch someone hack someone with a chainsaw, you know, machete, even shoot them down with a gun. But when it comes to a dentist, oh, heck no, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> That's way too gruesome. Look, uh, with me, how would I fight the dentist? I wouldn't go to the dentist. Do you all know that? <laughs> I think the Wishmaster would be the best person to fight with on all the movie horror movie characters. Wait a second, no. I forgot how he works. I thought he worked like he gives you two good wishes and the third one's gonna be really bad. I thought that's how it happened. I don't think that's how it happened, so. I think it's just like, he'll go around to three different people and if three people make a wish, they all come out bad and he comes out on top. I guess I won't make a wish with the Wishmaster. That, that easy. I got a wish, I don't need it. I don't wish for anything. You know what I wish for? Nothing. Because I'm doing what I need to do. That's what come down to. Uh, excuse me. Cheers. But I think the worst horror movie characters to fight off with would be the Wrong Turn family or the Hills Have Eyes family. Those, like those crazy families that are, you know, incest and deformed. Even though they might seem like easy kills, they're not. <laughs> they, they can get easy kills. They ain't easy to die, though. That's crazy. It's like they got superhuman powers with all that messed up DNA. I feel like that would be the most scariest people to fight. And plus, when you mostly fight them, you're in their territory. So it's like guerrilla warfare in the mountains or in the woods or in the desert, you know? The the woods or desert, guerrilla warfare, that don't sound like a fun time. If someone could commit guerrilla warfare in the desert, think about that. Think about how hard it is to hide in the desert. But these people, the In the Hills Have Eyes movies, they have no problem with finding every hiding spot in their desert. That That's crazy to me. That's like, that's way too, that, these might seem dumb, but that's pretty smart to me. I wouldn't mess with them. Now, Leatherface family, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that one I wouldn't, I, I feel like I wouldn't have a problem with. I'd just be like, you know, you're not as beautiful as you think I tell Leatherface. And that'd probably make him go crazy. <laughs> Honestly, he's that messed up in the head. I really don't think Leatherface even wants to be a killer. He's just born into it, and he has like a childlike mind. And he thinks he's a, like a woman instead of male. So yeah, there's a bunch of things wrong with Leather. Uh, the last thing that not really, you know. But in his case, it's not the same as, you know, modern cases where it's like, you know, 
people that are trying to decide whether it be male or female. Now with Leatherface, Leatherface was just, he was basically bullied by his mother because his mother wanted a daughter, that kind of deal. Like with Psycho. Oh, speaking about Psycho series. Let's see. How would I beat the Psycho series? I wouldn't go to the Bates Hotel. Done deal. I wouldn't go to any crappy hotel. <laughs> Done deal. That's a good one. The Toy Master. I think that's his name. Or the Puppet Master. Not the Toy Master. The Puppet Master. The Toy Master. Sounds like a horror toy story movie. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, the Puppet Master. Here's an interesting one. In the past, I used to think, wow, these are some weak killers right here. Just some puppets. You know? But now... With their new movie that came out, their newest one, they actually, they're able to, dang, I don't, you know, I don't want to ruin the movie, but then again, it's like a underrated movie. It's not like most of you will end up seeing it anyways. But, um, like they did something, and now the Puppet Master is alive again. But the thing is, it's like, you know, he ain't no puppet. He's a lot bigger and a lot undead. So, there's not much of killing him. So now, I don't think I could take the Puppet Master on, honestly. In the past, when the Puppet Master was just like a, you know, a ghost, yeah, I could take him on. But now, that he's like basically possessed and forming an own body of his own in the new movies, I don't think I could take on the Puppet Master. Here's another interesting one. Casey the Clown, Gacy the Clown, I mean, originated from around here. Became a horror movie character. He became a horror movie character. I know he's a real killer. But with that story, man, it's way too close to home for me. Not because he lived around in this area and the things, he, the people he targeted was young boys, you know? Not because of those things, all of those things are scary. But what scared me the most was my father and his friends was one of the many groups that bullied Daisy the Clown at their school. Now he didn't do as worse as other kids did to him, but still, you know, bullying is bullying. Let's face it, even the littlest amount of bullying could turn someone into a monster. <sighs> and that freaks me out, honestly, because when I think about like, dang, it's a good thing he ain't haunting people. I don't know if he is haunting people. If he was, he'd be haunting my father. One of his bullies, you know. At least that's what I think. And again, I don't know. Maybe he went so crazy, he's like, yeah, he was satisfied with how things turned out. But either way, with Gacy the Clown, how I'd fight them, I'd stay away from tall bushes. If the bush was tall enough and wide enough to hide a tall, a fat man, I wouldn't go close to that bush walking by it. I'd stay four or five feet away from it. I always did that in my life, honestly, because of Casey the Clown. I always was freaked out of someone taking his place and end up being the next, you know? So yeah, I'd just avoid bushes comes to Casey the Clown. Or I wouldn't take work from some stranger that wanted me to work at their house with that. There's a big difference into people offering you work at their house and you offering the work at their house, you know? A lot of time when I worked at other people's houses, it was my idea. It wasn't their idea. Well, they agreed to it, you know, but they didn't come up with the idea. I offered the help. And if someone were to off, like someone were to give me that opportunity, I think I'd turn it down. Cause I don't want to end up under the floorboards. Well, here's one that would be the boss fight. The thing. The thing. Man, that thing. Sheesh, is that a monster. It's able just to touch people and consume them into their own body. Make themselves bigger monster. That's crazy. The only weakness to it is fire, too. And we ain't talking about mol I don't think you could throw a Molotov at that thing. Unless if you were like that quick and you know, a good, had a good arm for like pitching. But if you didn't, you would need a flame torch to beat the thing. I don't know if I could beat the thing, honestly. I, I think I'd be too scared to use a flame torch. 
Heck, you know that trick where it's like you grab a hairspray and you, you use a hairspray and you use a lighter to make a flamethrower out of the hairspray? Yeah, I've seen so many people do that. I never done it myself though, because I always thought, man, that hairspray bottles, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna blow the heck up. You know that. Eventually one of these people are gonna do that and it's gonna blow up on them. I don't wanna be that person. So I never done that. So at Gacy, we might as well add the Hillside Strangler and Jeffrey Dahmer. Now with Jeffrey Dahmer, I just wanna be that guy's friend. <laughs> I saw the documentary. I'm surprised people wanted to be his friend, honestly. Of course it did. I mean, it made sense for the people that like made him do that stupid stuff, you know, try and make up for it by becoming his friend. But, heck no. I would not be that guy's friend. Hillside Strangler. I wouldn't take a ride unless if I wanted to ride, honestly when I ever really really need a ride I would have to mean that my legs hurting my backs hurting and I'm basically sitting there on the sidewalk but if someone ever offered me a ride I wouldn't in fact this happened to me four three three years ago a man dressed as an old lady it was creepy I know tried to offer me a ride to the bank I said no 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 and then up behind them was following a white truck you gotta be careful people you know, those people that pick up people that are even hitchhikers, <laughs> that right there is a big red flag. And we have history to prove it too. Hillside Strangler, big, big, big example. Honestly, I can't think of any more horror movie characters. If anything, if I didn't mention one that you all like, leave in the comments below and I'll explain what I do if I could beat them or not. How about that? That'd be fun. Because right now, I got no more, that's all of the horror movie characters I could think of. And we're about done with this walk, so it is what it is. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Stay awesome, keep being yourself. Later, everyone. It's like I got hit with a car because I'm doing my outro. <laughs>